grew up here in the Lone Park, and we have been married uh, 32 years. Oh, wow. Did you still like what you loved about your spouse? I'll start. Uh, I, I do, uh, and that is what I liked about my spouse uh, before being married was uh, spontaneity. It's just she's. It's no two days the same, and you know it's a. Uh, she's uh, never boring. <laughs> it's uh, and uh, you know it's just uh, there's, there's, there's nothing that you can. Uh, um, you see and you kind of get tired of. I can say never say that with, with my spouse because <laughs> she's she's always like she she likes new things. She likes trying new things, and and because of that, that's kind of the way she does everything. Everything is kind of you know off the cuff sort of, uh, and that can be challenging sometimes if I'm honest about it. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of exciting. To it, can, it keeps the spark. Nice, Yolanda. Okay, so do I like? what I loved about my spouse. Mm -hmm. I have to say yes, too. Um, Derek, when I met Derek, he was like this mysterious fellow. And he didn't used to talk a lot. Now, I love that about him because I still have to kind of wonder what's in there, you know, what's going on. But same thing, after a while, it's like, okay, you gotta come and bring it, bring it, you know. So it's really interesting to kind of, kind of see what his perspective is with things cause, because sometimes I'll be over here, and he's actually there already, but I won't know it. And so I find it out as, you know, as we go, or as we have a, a long conversation, and then we end up being right back at the same spot. So that's kind of cool. That's really cool. Very nice. Also, um, what is your favorite memory as, as a couple about, you know, when you guys coupled up, what is your favorite memory of your spouse? So I'm going to go for this. Okay. Um, when Derek and I met, well, we're, we're high school sweethearts. So we met at Skyline High School, and um, I had office help, office help, office help my senior year because I got my credits. And so I would just kind of go hang up, and I'm, I was drawn to the music hall. Didn't know at the time that there's, there was like this musician inside. I think that's the part that we kind of mailed it with. But um, so I would go in the band hall to pick up the attendance and. Uh, you know, I'd get the little pink slip and I'd leave. And so Derek would be playing on this bass and he'd be staring at me and just staring at me, but wouldn't say a word. Everybody else is saying stuff and like, hey, Yolanda, this, hey, Yolanda. And he's just literally staring at me. And every time I looked at him, he'd turn away and, you know, this, like I said, that mystery uh, would happen. And so for me, I think that that favorite memory is his interest that was already there that, you know, and then he made it known that that was the interest, but I think that's my favorite memory of him. Very nice. That and his hats. He'd wear his oh. hats right on the tip, <laughs> at the top of his head. The cap, he wouldn't pull it down on his head. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, my favorite memory of Yolanda, you know, I can like say it's no two days the same, so uh, I think uh, when we first got married and we had our first baby, it's like, <laughs> we had, uh, when uh, our first child was born, uh, you, know, you know, baby didn't always sleep in, in the last of the baby bed, so sometimes you're like, we want her in the bed with us and everything, and one time, since the baby kind of like slid off with the, with the covers, and with the floor, <laughs> <laughs> and she, and she like, just freaked out and she grabbed my leg, grab the baby, grab the baby. <laughs> baby never woke up, it's kind of, <laughs> I will never forget that, it was so funny, it's like, if you let my leg go, I can get the baby. <laughs> I think to this day, that moment, it keeps recurring every here and again. I'll have a dream, it's like, protect the baby, <laughs> it comes back, it pops back, so. Yeah, so they had you know, the, the, the most memorable I can think of. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> um, with this collaborative project, with the art project, uh, working on the collaborative piece, what did you learn about each other? On the collaborative you, piece? Mm -hmm, that you did not know before. <laughs> oh, she's going to let me go first this time. Uh, collaborative piece was that, well, again, it, it's a. Uh, She's different all the time, so it's it's. Uh, but one thing 
that is steady about Yolanda is that uh, uh, she, her free spirit makes it, it kind of shapes her art as in uh, she, even though it's different stuff, she has, even, we always, we have these arguments about uh, not having, a, a, you know, the same process and thing, but she really does actually have the same process, it's just not what most people's process would be. <laughs> but, but, uh, um, yeah, we have fun with that, and it's like it's sometimes you know with me kind of being more of the analytical kind of you know straight line kind of guy. Sometimes I have to I learn that I kind of have to back up and let her do her thing, and then I join in because sometimes you know there's some sparks if I get in there with the way I do. It. So you know, so that's 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 it. You have to give her the space. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, I learned a lot. Um, <laughs> One thing is that he's a little, a little hard-headed because it was a part of that process that I was like, hey, let's try this. And he's like, well, no. And he asked me about 10 questions about it. And then we ended up coming right back to that process. And so I'm like, okay, but then I've got to be patient and I've got to give him space to be his person because he needed those questions answered. And so I learned that, okay, what I would take as a, if you had just thought, if you had just done the way I said, do it first, it's really good. You know, instead of being that way, I had to learn to back up and to allow him space to be who he wanted to be in the process too and watch him do his thing. Because when he did his thing, I mean, he did his thing. Uh, that the base and he was more responsible for the structure and the, the stability of it and what's what I think is really interesting about that is in our marriage and in our relationship he has become that part of that relationship he's that structure and that that's that stability you know his name kind of his name says it all he, his name is Derek and that means a strong tower and so to be quite honest um, when I look at the project especially the collaboration there uh, he allowed me to do what I did and to flow the way that I wanted to flow. He asked me a bunch of questions. <laughs> but when I look back on it, every single question I needed to answer anyway. I was just going, and he was like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, one, two, and that actually helps me, you know, because it kind of calms, it actually calms everything, you know, sometimes. And sometimes it's like, Get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. But that's what I learned about him. He's like he's like the steady. You know, he's like the steady and and, and the support for everything that's going on. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>